In recent years, we have seen a decline in the role of the Boeing 747 as the queen of the skies as airlines around the world have been gradually retiring them. Once the iconic flagship for much of the world's airlines, the 747 or the jumbo jet is becoming more an increasingly rare sight in aviation today. While airlines around the world have been retiring them, there is some discussion as to the future of the 747 in India's national airline, Air India. While well, the 2010s went by and airlines began or have retired their 747s, especially during the, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Air India has been one of the last few airlines in the world who have been holding on to their aging 747s, with no official plans announced to retire them from the fleet. However, recent reports by local media has opened the discussion as to the future of the aircraft with Air India. First, there were some reports that Air India would finally retire the 747s, which are among the oldest aircraft in the airline's fleet. And in turn, there were tributes to the legacy of the 747 as part of Air India. However, these reports were later refuted by Air India, which released a tweet on March 9 saying, quote, It has been reported in a section of media that Air India is set to retire its Boeing 747 aircraft from its fleet and will be operating its last flight tomorrow. The news is false. B-747 will continue to remain an integral part of our fleet. Fast forward to July and we got even more confirmation as to the future of the 747s with Air India as India's Minister of State for Civil Aviation, VK Singh, stated, quote, At present, Air India has no plan to phase out the operation of Boeing 747 from the fleet. For now, these statements put to rest any rumors that the Boeing 747s would be retired and phased out by Air India even as other airlines around the world have already retired or are planning to retire their 747s or the Airbus A380s, a process that has been further accelerated during the COVID-19 pandemic. It would mean for now that the Boeing 747s would remain with the fleet and would go beyond 50 years of service with the airline since its first introduction in 1971. Over the years, the airline has operated the Dash 200, the Dash 300, and the Dash 400 variants of the 747s. Once the main flagship aircraft of the fleet, like many of its global counterparts, the airline now relies on more fuel-efficient wide-body aircraft such as the 777s and the 787 Dreamliners for high-capacity and long-haul routes. In all, historically, the airline has operated a total of 31 of the jumbo jets. After a long term of service with the airline, their current fleet of Boeing 747s are now down to just four 747-400s, which have an average age of 26 years making them the oldest aircraft on Air India's active fleet. According to Minister Singh, three of the four aircraft are currently undergoing maintenance checks. While they may no longer be primarily serving passenger flights, it's interesting to note that these aircraft have also been used to transport high-level dignitaries of the Indian government, including the Prime Minister, on overseas trips. However, that role now is, appears to be in question as well, as the Indian government has acquired a Boeing 777 for the use of Indian government officials, which goes by the call sign of Air India 1. With the aircraft potentially seeing even less of a use now, it is probably looking more appealing to Air India to retire and hopefully sell the aircraft or some parts of it, especially in a time where cost-cutting and possibly cutting new revenue sources are a big thing for airlines these days. Being a government-owned airline, any cost in the upkeep of the aircraft will be tacked on Indian people. With that said, I do think that the aircraft will eventually be retired and phased out, though we don't have any timetable as to when that will happen. What do you think? Do you think Air India should keep the 747s on its fleet, or should they phase it out? I definitely would love to hear your take on it, though in the meantime, this has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia-Pacific. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.